South Africa. Now we're here with Go Eco in Cape Town and we're going to be checking out their Teach and Surf project. It's going to be a lot of fun. In the morning we're going to go teach some kids and in the afternoon we're going to teach them how to surf in the ocean. Let's do this. So we just arrived at one of the schools and it's pretty much just a converted house. We've got a room just behind me, we've got a room just to the right of me and they've just turned them into different classrooms or preschool or for little babies. So it's very interesting and so great that they're able to find a location to have all these kids here. But it is kind of sad because a lot of the rooms, especially for the babies, they're quite small and we've been told they're fundraising to try and get a bigger room for them. Jess is currently being surrounded, everyone wants their photo. <laughs> Swept by the ocean, and every pulse from the tide wasn't finished. So we've now just come to a primary school, which is pretty much just makeshift classrooms that are made out of shipping containers. Alrighty guys, it is now the afternoon, which means we get to do the surf portion of the fun. We're going to come down, teach them to surf, but I feel like I can't surf and we've got a few of the new volunteers with us. I actually think they might be teaching us to surf this afternoon.
show you where everyone stays if you're a volunteer. Currently we're in the meeting room where you meet every day to find out your tasks, which school you're going to be going to and also you can use this area here to lesson plan and you know prepare for your day. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I pretend like I'm real close. Sometimes just this looks like a chill area. Yeah, just like an area where can everyone is communal, TV. So we have a communal kitchen here, so if any volunteers want to make coffee or buy any extra food or snacks, they can store it in the fridge. And yes, they have a jacuzzi. So this is house 22, which is the overflow for the volunteers. On top of the indoor showers, you can also come here and have a lovely outdoor shower. Come down to camps today, which clearly is the most tourist option because it is so beautiful. We've got Table Mountain to the right, I can see Lion's Head in front of me, and we have the beach. The beach is probably a bit cold to go for a dip, but it still is so beautiful. Like, just this road <laughs> behind me is incredible. Uh, we just got down for a little coffee, and I think if I ever return to Cape Town, which I probably will, I'm gonna make sure I book an Airbnb in this area because it is just it's so beautiful. Steve, where are we? We're at the waterfront, Jess. Why are we here? We're gonna do your favorite thing. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, good. Remember, you can talk to me through this. Yes, yes. I was so worried that like it was not gonna be it was gonna be cloudy like yeah. it was today. I feel like you know how everyone says that the best views are from Table Mountain? The best views are from a helicopter. <laughs> the best views that are from awesome. a helicopter. Guys, we're here at like NAC helicopters. Do it guys, it's do it awesome. so much. I'll leave the details below. So that cool by the way, that looks so spontaneous because we hadn't mentioned that we're going on a helicopter, but we had organized it. <laughs> it was spontaneous. <laughs> Cheers everyone. Cheers. <laughs> The really cool thing about Cape Town is there's these yellow picture frames just everywhere and you can get a photo in front of them, really fun. I like when there's a little quirky tourism things to do. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to come and volunteer in one of the most beautiful cities in the world right here in Cape Town, just go to goeco.org for all the information on the project. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.